Have you heard of the John List case? It's one of the most disturbing stories I've come across. This is the grave of his family. John was a wealthy man who lived with his family in Westfield, New Jersey. After losing his job, he spent most of his days at the train station where he tried to work through his financial hardships. His family believed he was still employed. So what does he do? He steals money from his 84-year-old mother to cover his mortgage payments for his 18-bedroom mansion. And things took a dark turn. John feared his family would suffer and turn away from religion, so he believed he needed to secure their place in heaven even if it meant breaking one of the Ten Commandments. He began his spree by unaliving his wife and mother while his children were still at school. When his only daughter and youngest son arrived home, he unalived them too. John took a quick lunch break and then went to his oldest son's soccer game. After the game, John and his oldest son returned home. John unalived his son. And the next morning, he wrote a five-page confession to his pastor. He left it in the house with classical music playing and turned on all of the lights before cutting himself out of all of the family photos. And he went 18 